After following this video, you would be able to see this uh, uh, mini cube Kubernetes uh, dashboard. This dashboard would be used to see all the Kubernetes uh, resources in UI. What is Minikube? Minikube is a single node Kubernetes cluster which can be run on your personal Windows laptop. It is so easy to uh, install. With this one, you don't require a high configured EKS or AKS uh, high paying costly Kubernetes cluster to learn Kubernetes. With Minikube, you can learn all the Kubernetes uh, resources freely. Open Google Chrome browser and type Minikube install. This will open up uh, Minikube uh, documentation. Just click on Windows and click on exe download. That will start a download of uh, minikube installer.exe. It would be downloaded to in your download folder. Double click on that. Click on English and click on OK. And click on Next and then click on I agree. Select a path to install your minikube and then click install. This should take uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, once it is installed, you should be able to see this particular page. The next step is to set the environment variable for our uh, mini cube. Uh, go to a path where it has been installed. In my case, it is uh, C drive, program files, Kubernetes, and mini cube. Copy this particular path and, and then click on edit system variables. Click on environment variables, select path, and then click edit. Click on new and paste the path of Minikube. Click on OK and this should uh, set the environment variable for uh, Minikube. Type Minikube start. This should start Minikube. Uh, in the meantime, it, when, parallelly it will uh, install necessary uh, libraries required. Once it is installed, it uh, approximately takes 10 to 15 minutes. Once it is installed, just type Minikube space version. This should show the Minikube version. Next step, just uh, uh, type kubectl space get po uh, space minus a. This should list out all the uh, uh, pre-installed uh, Kubernetes pod. So next type Minikube same command Minikube space kubectl hyphen hyphen get space po space minus a. This also uh, normally takes uh, 10 to 15 minutes. Once it once uh, it is run, so it uh, uh, automatically installs a kubectl exe basically. So type minikube dashboard. This should open up uh, minikube Kubernetes uh, cluster dashboard. As you can see, as of now, uh, there are much of resources not created. The default namespace you can see it by clicking the namespace in the left hand navigation. Uh, these are the default namespace by default. It comes up. So now let us uh, open up a command prompt and then uh, go back to the documentation of uh, uh, Minikube. Let us create few deployments. Uh, this should create an echo server and expose uh, our hello-minikube uh, uh, pod. So once it has been created, you can click on pods and you should be able to see the pod which has been created by our uh, action. So next thing what we would be doing is we would we wanted to test our uh, the pod which we have uh, just now installed it. Uh, just create the service which is required for this with this particular command. Now let us do a port forwarding. Open up another uh, uh, command prompt and over there paste the port forwarding command. This should uh, 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 port forward 7080 to 8080. On 8080, our uh, application is running. So if you open up a browser and type uh, localhost 7080, this should show up our application, which is running on our port. <music>